BA fifth semester of some students. Today I go with the general character of English. You know very well. Today English is the world wide language, and English has become the language of the international, national, and very useful language for the scientific study and so on and so on. But uh, the English is originally the mother tongue of England. But uh, let us uh, know how this English from England has spread to other countries and throughout the world. And what kind of a characters are very helpful for this language to develop to this extent in the modern period. So some of the characters are responsible for the speedy development of English throughout the world. Development of the language and it has become the lingua franca of the world today. Means it is the communicating language of the world today. That's why it is extensively used by the people all over the world than any other language. So it has, English today has become the lingua franca in many parts of the world. Means it is a spoken language in many countries, in many parts of the world. And uh, this English is the prominent language in the field of business, in the field of science, especially in the computer science. The reason for this popularity of English is the military, economic, scientific, political and cultural influence of the British Empire during the 18th, 19th and 20th centuries. No doubt. English people, British people, they have extended their empire and they went to many countries. They learned their language and they spread the English language and that's why English has become the language of the world today. Even the United States. So, some of the qualities and characteristics of the language too are responsible for its appeal to some extent. So, let us uh, know one by one what important characters of English help the English language to develop such an extent today. So, first and foremost, uh, let us consider receptivity and heterogeneity of the English language. Receptivity and heterogeneity means when it was during the 5th century AD, English was the pure language with a little Latin influences. But later, the influence of uh, Normans and others, French, they went to England and their homogeneity has lost its importance and that's why the language has got the heterogeneity, heterogeneousness, heterogeneous character. And English language is very easily receptive. Whatever the material you put, whatever the material you provide, give it to the English language, it easily receives and adopts. Receiving and uh, adaptable heterogeneity, that character is very important. So that's why this character is a very outstanding character. Next one is copiousness of vocabulary. Copiousness of vocabulary means wide variety. So whatever the language that comes from different languages of the world, the English language, it receives and it adopts and makes its own word. The vocabulary of English is undoubtedly vast, very vast today. New words are planned regularly in medicine, in the field of medicine, in the field of science, technology and in other fields. And uh, the Global Language Monitor announced that the English language had crossed the 1 crore, uh, I mean uh, 
टेन लैक वर्ड थ्रेसोल्ड ऑन जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन दिस वॉज हाउ दो ऑफिस ने सॉफ्ट एंड कैन सी दैन एंड कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इट्स अ सिंप्लिसिटी ऑफ इंफ्लेक्शन the ease and its uh, the ease with uh, which it indicates the relationship of words in a sentence so words and the adaptability adjustability in a sentence so it has a very simple inflections very simple inflections with only minimum of a change in the shapes or variation of its endings the norman conquest uh, encourage the demise of inflected endings so earlier in the old english period we said english is said to be a fully inflected language but later in course of time it has reduced its uh, inflection to the minimum i mean leveled inflections during the middle ages and in the modern language it is free of inflections and uh, the fourth one is relatively fixed word order so order of the word in english is fixed so one of the very important consequences of the loss of inflections is that a fixed word order so it was once fully inflected language english was the fully inflected language during the old english period but when it starts reducing its inflections so there we take the word i mean a fixed word order so it takes the place of the freedom made possible by the system of inflections so speakers of english are used to putting the subject of the sentence at the beginning of the sentence the verb in the middle and the direct and indirect object at the end yes we go far so this is how the freeing the i mean fix i mean fixing the word order in a sentence and uh, another character is use of uh, prepositions so using the prepositions in the english important consequence of loss of inflections is the growth of the use of prepositions and uh, periphrases so use of prepositions and periphrases um how i mean um, very useful pen in the place of lost inflections in english the most used prepositions are to in for of with on and etc and uh, next character is very varieties of intonation so varieties of intonations the development of new varieties of intonation to express shades of meaning is yet another consequence of the loss of inflections so loss of inflections actually led to the change of many things so among this uh, varieties of intonation is one among them the shades of meaning were formerly indicated by varying the shape of words varying the shape of words for instance a variety of sets of meaning could be conveyed merely by varying the intonation of the word so we can raise our voice we can lower our voice so making the intonation we can convey different meanings whenever we say yes 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 so different i mean intonation marks the different varieties of meaning also and uh, another variety of dialects due to its historic importance and the higher number of english speakers national dialects regional social and educational varieties are numerous there are so many dialects indian english is different and urdu speaking uh, people they use uh, different english tamilians they use different english and english dialects in england so many that's why this is how it led to the i mean what is not different dialects so that's why there is uh, almost no 
declension and no conjugation in the English language, which makes it much easier for someone who is learning the language to form simple sentences that are grammatically correct. And uh, the English language contains a lot of homophones. There are words that have the same pronunciation but are spelled differently. Of course, they have different meanings. So this is how for these uh, special characteristics, for these special characteristic features, English is very, very popular. It makes it easy for the people to learn it. So that's why all these English characters are responsible for the speedy growth of English language um, in the world.